The magnetic force on a point charge is given by QVB sine theta. Q is the charge that's feeling the force. V is the speed of the charge, and B is the magnetic field created by other things in the region around it. Theta is the angle between the direction of the velocity and the direction of the magnetic field. If this angle is 90 degrees, the force is a maximum and sine theta is 1. To find the direction of the force on a point charge, you have to use the right hand rule where your thumb is the direction of the velocity, your pointy finger is the direction of B, and your middle finger is the direction of the force on a positive charge. For this charge, if you point your thumb in the direction of the velocity to the right, and you point your pointy finger in the direction of the magnetic field into the page, your middle finger points upward, which tells you that the force on this positive charge is upwards. This is the right hand rule you always use if you want to find the direction of the force. You could even find the force on a current carrying wire. Point your thumb in the direction of the current because that's the direction that positive charges are flowing. If you want to find the size of the force on a current carrying wire, use F equals ILB. I is the current that's feeling the force, L is the length of the wire that's feeling the force, and B is the magnetic field created by everything else besides that wire that's feeling the force. There's also a sine theta if the direction of the current is not at a right angle to the direction of the magnetic field. If the direction of the velocity is perpendicular to the magnetic field, the magnetic force will try to make that charge go in a circle. Since you have something going in a circle, you can use sum of the forces equals mv squared over r. QVB is the force, and you can solve for the radius, which is MV over QB. Remember that the magnetic force can never, ever do any work since the magnetic force is perpendicular to the velocity always. A long straight wire will create a magnetic field line that looks like a circle centered at the wire. You can find the direction of the magnetic field using the other right hand rule. If you point your thumb in the direction of the current, your fingers will curl around in the direction of the magnetic field that's created by that current. To find the size of the magnetic field created by the wire, you can use the formula mu naught i over 2 pi r. Mu naught is a constant equal to 4 pi times 10 to the negative 7th. i is the current that's creating that magnetic field, and r is the distance from the wire to the point in space where you want to determine the magnetic field. The magnetic field is measured in units of Tesla. This right hand rule works both ways. You can point your thumb in the direction of the current with your fingers curling around in the direction of the magnetic field, or you can point your thumb in the direction of the magnetic field and your fingers will curl around in the direction of the current. A bar magnet has a north and a south pole. The magnetic field lines come out of a north pole and they go into a south pole. A compass will always point in the direction that the magnetic field is pointing. If a wire of current I creates a magnetic field all around it, you can find the size of the magnetic field by using mu naught I over 2 pi R. If a negative charge is flying by that point with a speed V, you can use the formula F equals QVB to solve for the magnetic force on that charge. Plugging in the formula you found for the magnetic field gives you the force in terms of quantities that were given. Using the right hand rule, you point your thumb to the right in the direction of the velocity. You point your pointy finger out of the page in the direction of the magnetic field and your middle finger will point down giving you the force on a positive charge. But this is a negative charge so the force is actually upwards. The magnetic flux is given by the formula B A cosine theta. It measures how much magnetic field goes through a loop of wire. If there's a change in magnetic flux in time, you get an induced EMF. You can change the magnetic flux by changing the magnetic field that points through the loop, by changing the area of the loop, or by changing the angle that the loop makes with respect to the magnetic field. If a rod of length L travels through a magnetic field with speed V, the induced voltage equals LVB. Lenz's law tells you which direction the induced current is going to flow. The induced current will always create its own magnetic field to fight the change in flux. If the magnetic flux increases, the induced current is going to create a magnetic field that points in the opposite direction of the existing magnetic field. So point your thumb in the opposite direction of the existing magnetic field and your fingers point in the direction of the induced current. If the flux is a maximum and it stays constant, you get no induced current and no induced EMF. If the flux decreases, the induced current is going to create a magnetic field that points in the same direction as the existing magnetic field. So point your thumb in the direction of the existing magnetic field and your fingers will point in the direction of the induced current.